church. But it says, Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave Himself for it. Husbands, if you don't love your wives the same degree that Jesus loved the church, you need to check yourself. Amen. You need to be men. You need to love those wives and be willing to give. I'll be honest, before I studied my Bible, before I became a Christian and really, really studied this passage, I didn't love my wife like I needed to. Also, wives would submit themselves to the husbands. Verse 22, same passage. Wives, submit yourselves unto your husbands as unto the Lord. The truth will keep husbands and wives together. Nothing can separate them if they are lovers of that truth. Mm -hmm. The truth should keep us on the straight and narrow. Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. And we know that we are not wise enough to do it ourselves. Jeremiah said that in chapter 10, verse 23. O Lord, I know that the way of man it is not in himself. It is not in man to walk to direct, to direct his steps. We're just not that smart, are we? No, sir. Not without God. The psalmist wrote, Thy word is a lamp, a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. We need God's truth to keep us on that path. Mm -hmm. The truth will keep Christians saved if we will adhere to it. Jeremiah chapter 6. Verse 16, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and you shall find rest for your soul. It is not saying you will find rest anywhere else. You will find it in those old paths. Dishonesty, along with many of the other negative attitudes that have been covered in this lectureship, I'm sure, caused the beginning of the apostasy of the early church has continued even until this day. Many say that in the denominational world, many have, as we mentioned, sincere and honest hearts. If that be the case, they will leave their denomination and be added to the Lord's church. If not, then they may be sincere, but sincerely wrong, scripture, dishonest. For those who propagate a dishonest gospel purport to be learned in the Bible, they are being dishonest. <coughs> George R. Orwell once wrote, during times of universal deceit, telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act. Brethren, it's past time for us to join the revolution. We must develop and keep an attitude of truthfulness. We must fight and defeat false doctrine within and without the Lord's church. I thank you for your teaching. Amen. Amen.